Now they say a journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. Before they were great, they were once a come up. We got into it about three years ago. Um, actually we bought the business from friends of ours who had uh, had a quite a well established business of about 13 years. Um, when we took it over there was more of a concrete focus. Um, we in the last three years have actually taken it more into a granite focus where we see um, a longer lasting stone where we can provide a 25 year guarantee. Our biggest challenge is uh, taking a uh, existing product and trying to get your clients to look at something that is maybe a little bit more expensive uh, yet more durable. Um, so that, that was probably our, our main challenge. Um, and obviously as a new company, moving premises, that was, that was a large, uh, because I mean that business had been there for almost 13 years. Um, so moving to a new premise, a larger premise, um, now trying to bring all our clients here was, was some of the challenges. I think, uh, well, because we offer an eight month lay-by, we, um, we make it quite affordable for our clients to, to come in and choose a stone and pay it off over eight months. Most of our clients, especially in the African cultures, they work as a community. So they'll all come together and, and, and they'll, they'll provide for that tombstone. So I find that eight months is, is, a, is a very reasonable time for us to be able to purchase and install a tombstone um, for, for their belated loved one. I think our biggest key differentiator is that we offer custom designs. Um, we're not just sort of looking at the, at the normal uh, run-of-the-mill type of stones. We, we ask our clients to come in, um, we'll, have, we'll sit down and we'll, we'll discuss their belated loved one, what they like, their likes, their, what they really enjoyed in life. And then we'll try and customise something that really best portrays what, who they were while they were alive. Um, I mean, as you can see, there's some very original stones that we've done for clients. Um, and I think that's our key differentiator. Uh, we, we definitely still do um, the entry level stones and, and, and your, your, your medium range stones, but we, we try to look at, at the custom stones. I mean, like I say, we've, we've gone up into Botswana, into Malawi, with some really beautiful custom stones. I think that a lot of the neighboring countries are really battling with um, service delivery. Uh, that's, that's one of the things they complain about a lot. Um, and also poor quality in, in the type of granite that they're getting. Um, so, I mean, especially from a lot of our Zimbabwean clients, they're saying that they're getting very thin granite, very, very poor quality granite that doesn't last more than five years. So, because we generate most of our business um, over the internet um, through initiatives that we do on an SEO um, perspective, we bring clients in from almost all of Africa. I mean, I've sent stones up to, up to the DRC. Um, here we have one of our more popular. Uh, it was actually a custom design for a client a few years ago. And um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's, it's basically what they call a full house. Um, it's probably uh, one of the top in, in the way that it's a three-dimensional tombstone. So clients are able to walk around the tombstone and, and, and it's very three-dimensional. Where I think people are now looking at, when they look at a custom stone, they want something that you can, you can walk around and, and, it's, and it has that three-dimensionality. Um, I think that especially from a, from a point of view of concrete versus granite, um, I always tell my clients to have a look and, and make sure that the granite that they're purchasing is, is of a high quality. Make sure your tombstone mason is definitely um, uh, giving you a good quality type of product. Otherwise, uh, you know, with years to come, um, with, with uh, water going into holes, that kind of thing, it, it will obviously, the, the stone will not last as long. So that's one of the things to make sure about. This one here, we'd probably, it'll probably take almost uh, five to six hours. Um, on, a, on a stone like this, it weighs probably close to about two tons. Um, we, on a stone like this, we would ask that the client builds a foundation, um, but three, three layers first, about two, three weeks before we come, because this is a very heavy stone. Um, but in total, it takes us about four to five hours to install a stone like this. Basically what happens is um, there are a lot of fly-by-nights and there are a lot of guys that can go and buy um, some very nice tombstones, open up a nice little showroom and uh, an unsuspecting client will walk in there and they will put down a deposit and they'll start an eight-month lay-by and unfortunately by the time they come back six months later that, uh, that shop's closed down and there's no phone numbers, nobody answers the phone. It's a common occurrence in this industry unfortunately. It gives, it gives the industry a bad name. So when I, whenever I speak to a client I always tell them that there's a few things that they should definitely check before putting down a deposit. First of all, is that a company that's registered? Do they have a registration number? 
preferably do they have a VAT number, which means that obviously they have a decent enough turnover to be there in eight months' time when they want their stone. Um, really, the, the main thing is also to, to ask them, are they, do they cut their own granite, do they polish their own granite? If so, please can, please can they show them. There's no reason why a tombstone mason should ever have to hold back and not let a client come and see a certain part of their factory. Those are the main things that I would say that they should be very careful with um, because uh, we, we get a lot of calls and because we rank so high on the internet we get calls from clients asking us do we know so and so and I'm not going to mention any names but uh, we get it as, on a, I probably get three or four calls a week from, tombs from clients who have been duped by um, tombstone companies. I think for us it's, it's growing the customization side of our business and differentiate ourselves. At the moment we install nationally, I mean we, we have trucks that, that, uh, that go to the, the all corners of South Africa and then, like I say into, into neighbouring countries. Um, I think we will be opening more showrooms around the country um, over the next six months to 12 months um, but for us I think it's, it's focusing on doing something different that, that people are not doing out there and, and really customising, doing some really unique unique stones for, for our clients.